Hello buddies, today we are going to learn about plants. We are going to learn parts of a plant, life processes in plants, and plant classification. Let's start! Parts of a plant. Roots. Roots are the parts of a plant that are underground. Roots have two main functions. They fix the plant to the ground and they absorb water and other substances from the soil. There you are an example of roots. A different part of the plant is the stem. The stem supports the plant, it's above the ground. Stems transport water and other substances to all parts of the plant. The stem usually divides up into branches. Another part of the plant is the stem. Her base stems are soft and flexible, such as grass. Woody stems are hard and rigid. Trees have a woody stem called a trunk. Trees and bushes are some examples. We also have to talk about leaves. Leaves are the green parts of a plant that grow from the stem or the branches. Plants make their own food in the leaves. Leaves have two parts, the petiole and the leaf blade. The Deciduous plants lose their leaves in autumn. Evergreen plants have leaves all year round. Here you can see the parts of a leaf. The petiole, which is the part of the leaf connected to the stem, and the leaf blade is the widest part of the leaf. I also add to this video how to classify leaves according to the edge and according to the shape. Here you are the parts of a flower. Stamens are the male parts of the flower. Pollen is produced in the stamens. Petals are colored leaves. The petals form the corolla. The sepals are the small green leaves that protect the flower. The sepals form the calyx. And finally the pistil, which is the female part. It is shaped like a bottle and it contains the ovary. I'm going to explain how plants reproduce. First, Pollen is forming the stamens. Second, a grain of pollen reaches the pistil of another flower. Then the ovary match hers and turns into fruit. The fruit contains the seeds. And finally, when a seed falls to the ground, it germinates and a new plant grows. Plants make food through their photosynthesis. And they need water and mineral salts. They absorb them through their roots. This mixture is called raw sap. Carbon dioxide, this is gas found in air, plants absorb it through their leaves, and finally sunlight, this is absorbed by the leaves. With these three ingredients, water, carbon dioxide and sunlight, plants make elaborated sap. This is food for the plant. Plants release oxygen as a waste product of this process. And here you are, a diagram of how they uh, make their own food. After reproduction and nutrition, we are going to talk about sensitivity. Plants have sensitivity. This means that they respond to changes in the external environment. For example, stems and leaves grow towards the light, and roots always grow downwards in search of moisture. Plant classification. Flowering plants. They produce flowers and seed to reproduce. They can be angiosperms. They have flowers and produce fruits and seeds. They can be trees, bushes, or grasses. And they can also be gymnosperms. They have small, simple flowers without corolla, or calyx. They don't produce fruits and seeds are grouped in cones. They are trees or bushes and most of them are evergreen. We've seen flowering plants and now we are going to deal with non-flowering plants. They don't produce flower fruits or seeds. One of them is mosses. They are very small simple plants. The roots are called rhizoids. And the second group of non-flowering plants are ferns. They need damp conditions to survive. They have large leaves. And here you are an example. And this is the end of the lesson, students. I hope you liked it, and please remember that you have to watch the video as many times as you need. See you soon. Bye-bye.